hope everyone's doing well today. Sure, come on over. We have a few songs like always. We have a book. We have a uh, lesson today. Not every day we'll have a lesson, but today and yesterday we will. Um, just because I found everything I needed for them. So I'm excited. Most of these things I'm trying to see if we can have things that are just all the way around the house anyhow. Doggies. Yes, Miss Mel let us borrow some of her books. So Madison's going through them right now. But this is not the book I'm going to read today. Uh, we can read this at bedtime. Okay. Okay. So today we have a couple repeat songs and I have a fun... Um, Fun, what, a fun game called the Boa Constrictor that I know a lot of you guys like. Bye. So, bye. Have fun. So we're going to start off with our songs. Our first song is <laughs> very energetic this morning. Um, the first song that was requested is uh, to sing all the birds again. So we're going to sing that. And let's sing it two times because it's a very short song. All the birds are here at last, birds of every feather, telling us that winter has passed. that again since it's so short. one that we got requested was we wanted to sing Mango Fandango again because I told you that is a very very catchy song. Bye! Alright, so Mango Fandango. You ready? Mama, Mama I want a mango Papa, Papa Please, Papaya No, no, Nana A ripe banana Kiwi, 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 Kiwi Quince Red berries, berries blue, these are fruits so good for you. Cherries, cherries, sweet and new, and coconuts, yes, they're fruits too. Mama, mama, I want a mango, papa, papa, please, papaya, no, no, nana, a ripe banana. Kiwi, 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 quince. Oranges, oranges, lemons, yellow. Fill my belly sweet and mellow. Vitamins grow on a tree in pretty packages for you and me. Mama, mama, I want a mango. Papa, papa, please, papaya. No, no, nana. A ripe banana, kiwi, 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 quince. Oh, they travel many miles, fill the world with fruity smiles. Sweet, delicious, tasty treats from Mother Nature, a gift to eat. Mama, mama, I want a mango, papa, papa, please, papaya. No, no, nana, a ripe banana, kiwi, 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 quince. Okay, for our last, it's not really a song, our last uh, activity is called the boa constrictor, but we need to get on the floor for that. So give me one second to get on the floor. All right, so to 
do the boa constrictor. You need to be on the floor. And Madison wanted to join in. So, you want to say hi to everyone? Hi. Hi. Thank you. Sure, no thanks. Okay, so, get your legs out. I'll scooch back so you can see my, my ice cream socks. See? Okay, are you Look ready? Mine. Yes, you picked out your socks too. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Oh no, he's at my toes. Oh me, he's at my knees. Oh fiddle. Should we do it one more time? Yeah. All right. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Oh no. He's at my toes. Oh me. He's at my knees. Oh Phil. He's at my middle. A group. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Madison. Well, so that's our for the our song, and I want. All right, so for today's lesson, we're gonna do digging, uh, digging for dinosaurs, and I happen to can't find our dinosaurs lately, so we're gonna dig for fossils. So the things you need, yes, I see. Can you wait one second? I I have just a container. Could be a shoe box, could be anything you want, just a, just a container. Um, we had some options. We had kinetic sand, kinetic rice, 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 peas. And rice, rice. I think we'll try the rice, Madison. Okay. And then I also found other things around the house. I found a paintbrush. I found a rake. I found a spoon that Madison keeps talking about. And then what we found was these, like, dinosaur fossils. And another snail. But you could hide dinosaurs, too, in them. Okay. So I think we're going to do the rice. Madison is thinking rice. So let's pour the rice in. Look. Yeah, look. Look what I found. Look what you found. All right. A so we're going to pour the rice in. And hide them. Pour the rice in. All right. Hide them. Yes. Can you hide them in? You can make colored rice that's all brown, so it looks like dirt. You could go get dirt outside. I like the dirt outside. You could get dirt outside. You could get sand if you had sand. All right. So let's use what we have, Madison. We have a rake, a brush, and let's dig for them. Oh, you found one. Now take your brush. You can brush it off. You want to try the rake? No. Okay, I'm going to try the rake. I'm trying the rake. Sure, see if you can discover something. Uh, I found something. All right, let's get the brush and brush it out. Got to be very gentle with fossils. <gasps> What'd you find? All right, should we keep going? Yeah. Wanna, is there anything else? Let me find. I'd be happy for you to find. I think there's something over here. Can I have, may I have the brush? Okay. Let me, there you go. Let's I see. see. I found something. And you found a fossil. So you can do this with lots of things, but I thought that'd be kind of a fun dinosaur digging hunt, like an archaeologist. So I hope you enjoyed that, and now let's read our story. All right, so for today's book, it's an Eric Carle book, and I love Eric Carle. Um, I love his artwork, and that might inspire you to do some art like him. So look at the pictures carefully, see how he does them. All right, so this Eric Carle book is The Tiny Seed. 
Anyone else? Is anyone starting to plant their seeds for sp in the spring so they grow? We are just about to in this house. The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? Hmm. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts, and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but this tiny seed does not go as high as the other. You see the little seed? Yeah. Fishy. I found a fishy. You did find the fish in the picture. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low but the wind pushes it on with the others. Let's see what it is. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. You see all the painting, different styles of painting? Yeah. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open just a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. And it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the new of the small new plants. Look. And that little plant dies. Look what I found. The tiny seed hasn't grown hasn't found. begun to grow yet. It what will be I too found. late. Hurry! But finally, it it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play, like you guys. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. Oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. 
I'm sure it was an accident, but please do be careful where you step. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plants have seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. Who that's big. All summer long, the birds and the bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Ooh, this inspires me to do some painting with Madison. Maybe hang it out on our window so people can look at them. Okay, maybe Luke can. Yeah. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower. And this time, the flower's seed pods open. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. Let's do this part. The end. The tiny seed. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed our songs and our boa constrictor and our lesson today for uh, digging for dinosaurs. It's fun to be an archaeologist and our book today. And I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye! Gotta come down here. Bye! <laughs>